Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just starting off at the Shaman's Hut, today we're going to be attempting the Brick and Mortar Challenge. So for this challenge we just need to collect three bloody bricks of cocaine. Another traveller finds his way here in search of a spiritual release. Come on in. Come on in. So the first thing we need to do is actually fix the brick, the cocaine brick making machine. So heading straight ahead there's an orange box up above us. You just need to shoot that and it's going to fall down and drop like a circuit board. We need to pick those up, or pick the circuit board up. Don't worry about the cans and all that kind of stuff, let's just have a bit of fun with later. So now we need to head up to the cocaine processing area. It's heading around to the left and up through this locked gate. Hopefully you brought along a lockpick. Otherwise we'll be starting again and bringing a lockpick. So sneaking through this bush here, there are a couple of guards but you can sneak past them relatively easily. And we're just going to head down through the processing area to the machine. We're going to grab ourselves some sort of disguise. So once we've reached this little shed, if you turn on this generator, that's going to create a distraction for one of the cooks to come out, and we can just take his disguise. By having the drug lab workers outfit we can be inside this room without too much bother. Shit. Having the circuit board and also being dressed as this guy we can now fix this machine and once you pop the circuit board in it will start working and it will start producing or start clanking around. Now one of the workers is going to go and get Hector and he is going to be our first bloody brick. So we've just been waiting around for Hector to come over. He's he's an old man, he's pretty slow, so he takes a couple of minutes to wander over. He is going to tell everybody to leave the room. And then we can throw him in. Once Hector's standing in front of the machine, we can just sneak up behind him, throw him in, and head round to the other end of the machine, and there's now going to be a bloody brick. So now we need to just make a distraction. There's lots of bits and bobs around, but we'll just make a distraction over in this corner of the room. someone will now come in. You can 
take this guy out anywhere. We just need to knock him out. And then again, just drag him over to the machine and throw him in. And this is now brick number two. You pick up these guns, just make sure that you're not spotted. Because now a drug lab worker is not supposed to have a gun, so if anyone sees you, you'll instantly be spotted. So just keep that in mind. But you do have to pick up that gun, otherwise the gun will stop and it will mess everything up. So, again, same process. Knock this guy out. Throw him into the machine and go and pick up your third brick. And that is the brick and mortar challenge complete. So guys, like always, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. And we'll catch you all again next time. Ciao.